All right, guys, it's Jim. How is everyone? Been a while. Apologies for that. Been very busy here at Extreme Booters. Um, it's been four or five odd weeks probably since my last video, and apologies for that. I did get um, the cove, and I was off my feet for the best part of three weeks. Um, was just simply a cold, but it, well, I don't know what it did to my legs, but I, I couldn't walk. Um, further than um, like from the bed to the sofa basically I know that sounds um, an excuse for being lazy but my god my legs just ached like you wouldn't believe I, I literally couldn't do uh, anything um, obviously I did um, do my best to keep the shop running obviously with Stu as well did, did his part um, and then since then um, car boots we've been doing them but the main car boots around uh, this part of the Midlands where we live um, are either closed or another one is delayed until September because of the Commonwealth Games. Um, we've just not really been picking up enough stuff to justify doing videos. Um, did alright this Sunday to be fair which we were um, pleasantly surprised with but obviously I haven't done anything like that. And then charity shops, I've been out and about enough. Um, been going once, two, three times a week. And again, just not been finding the volume of stuff um, to do a video. I mean, I mean, I suppose I could do a... Hi guys, here we are, here's the haul. It was a pen. You know, or, or one thing, obviously. Um, but I, I just don't see the point in that. It's not worth my time doing that. Um, and I don't enjoy doing that, to be fair. There needs to be something um, of value to show people. Um, although obviously me showing you nothing does kind of um, give an insight into what it's like being a full-time racer you don't necessarily pick up tons and tons of stuff every week sometimes it is a struggle to get new stock in um, you know charity shops are very hit and miss car boots are very hit and miss um, sometimes you just don't find the stuff we're very very fortunate in that we've got see previous videos we bought a ton or over a ton of vintage clothing we then bought another job lot of vintage clothing which was a similar size so we have literally got bags and bags and bags of clothing that we haven't even touched yet so obviously if we don't find stuff um, at the weekends at the car boots or, or at the chazas we have got that to fall back on and if you look at my store you can see at the moment it is predominantly um, clothing and it will continue to be that in fact I'm thinking of splitting into two eBay accounts um, both business accounts obviously um, one to sell the general stuff that I, I, I used to sell and uh, your sports equipment gaming stuff um, golf stuff etc etc and then another one for purely for the vintage clothing or, or and it's not all vintage but a lot of it's vintage so uh, one for the clothing I don't know if it's worth doing that, I'm not sure, um, but it's something that we're thinking about at the moment, um, so we'll see what happens there. The other thing that we've got on at the moment is trying to find storage, um, obviously um, previous videos, um, I've converted my garage now to my stock room, it's working really well, it's all set up now, it's all working, but there's just not the room to cope with the amount of stock that we're holding at the moment. So I got rid of my 20 foot container that I used to have, got a storage unit at um, Big Green Storage or whatever they're called, um, but I'm now looking to go back to where my container was because the container is half the cost and it's bigger than the storage unit that I've got. So trying to get back there but they've currently got no space so we're just waiting for that. So that's um, an update on what's happening here. Um, the video I've been charity shopping today and I've done exceptionally well. Couldn't believe how much stuff I got. Um, I've been out and about doing some work um, for my wife's company. Um, so while I was out, popped into the charity shops over in Evesham and Ulster, which is probably 30, 40 minutes away from where I actually live. Do go over there sometimes. Will be going over there more often because it seems whenever I go, I get a huge amount of stuff. Um, I spent around 120 pounds today. Return should be something in the region of 500. So obviously, 
that's pretty good that keeps me going there is a lot of clothing i am a clothing clothing reseller obviously with this huge amount that we've got now my knowledge base is expanding all the time so i'm seeing different brands that i don't normally or didn't used to find i'm now you know getting quite a good knowledge of clothing um so there is quite a bit of clothing i apologize for that if people don't want to see that then you know skip on for just a bit but i'll quickly run through the clothing although you know if you go into charity shops you're going to see clothing there's a lot of money in clothing as well so um keep your eye on it um we started off with this very very nice um leicester tigers shirt it's kukri and it's still got the tags brand new with tags paid up 6.95 for it I should be listing that for 24.95 maybe more because it's a very big size i think it's a no it's a 2xl so um i've put down on my list here obviously as you know i do a list so i know what i'm looking at um know my prices i put 20 down but i'll be listing it probably for 29.95 and see what goes with that um this wool merino wool i think as you might have feel of it jumper and i don't know if you can see in the stitching but it's Caterham. Caterham obviously make um, Caterham sports cars, um, similar to Lotus 7s. Um, beautiful cars. There's the label, as you see, Caterham. Paid 2 99 for it. Mm, nothing on eBay like that. So I've put down um, for 12 95 Might do a bit more at first and see what... Um, see what goes because obviously if you've got a caterham you can afford to spend some decent money on a jumper if you want one um this was a nice spot this is a ping sensor warm um top um you can see ping and it's a sensor warm um it's like a quilted uh top beautiful Needs debobbling, but I've got a debobbler, so we'll sort that out. Twelve pounds. A lot of people would not buy that at twelve pounds, thinking that's too much money. But when I tell you that this, even in this condition, will sell for fifty, maybe you will. Um, this is a standard Bowden T-shirt with a nice bicycle motif on it. Three pounds reduced from six. Uh, that should see around. 12 to 15. Another Leicester Tigers, this time it's a vest. Again, this one is Cougar. Uh, this was £3.50. Again, somewhere in the similar region, 12 to £15 on that one. If only the shirt was there, but it wasn't. But these are some Millwall shorts from I think it's 97 to 99. Need to do a bit more research. They're a size 32. Uh, they were six pounds, so I paid up. I, I, mean, I don't think I should have bought them at six pounds, but but you never know. They should sell. I'll list them for 15. See what goes. Um, let's try and get this clothing out from underneath. The next, we'll save all the stuff to the end. The non-clothing, I should say. Stay there. Um, I sell an awful lot of this stuff. This is Barber, this is a quilted Barber, and um, this is a Liddysdale, I believe, in blue, men's large, paid up for it, 15 quid, but I, I sell them, I can sell them all day long, um, 30 to 40, uh, no problem at all, I've probably got 100 or so in stock at the moment, um, easy seller, not now, it's obviously, well, apparently summerish. Um, but um, hold on to them until October time and you'll be able to bump up the price a little bit more. Another golfing um, item. This is a fleece gilet and it's St Andrews the Old Course. Um, £6. No, sorry, £3.50. Why don't I buy it for £6? Obviously the Open's on in four weeks, is it? Three, four weeks? And it's at St Andrews. So I thought I'd grab that, normally probably 12 to 15 again, but because of the Open being there um, this year, I'll probably lift it for 25 to be fair, see what happens. Um, pick these up whenever I see them. This is an Aston Villa 
score draw replica shirt. So the score draw there uh, means they're like um, copies of the vintage shirts. This one's probably what 80s is it? I think for Villa. It's double XL, um, 4.99, easy 20 quid all day long. Um, something I've not really bought in the past, but certainly will be now. I can see how much they're worth. Is cycling tops. I found this uh, rally. It's got rally Saab, got four hotels, etc., etc. Um, that one, and it's made by Santini. That one was four pounds, and the exact same one, although in a smaller size, sold for where is it? I wrote it down thirty-five. Then we also have this one. Oh, it's all come undone. Let's find the zip. Sorry about this, very unprofessional as usual. But this one is a Bradley Wiggins. This one was five ninety five, but the Bradley Wiggins ones, I think it's because it's the Team Sky stuff and obviously because of him himself, um, they sell really well. That should be 25 to 30, no problem at all. That's it for clothing. Thank you, great, everyone says. Um, well, almost, these are almost clothing, aren't they? Um, Air Force Ones, I'm not 100% sure on them though. I don't know, I don't know. The thing that's got me concerned is the inner tag. I don't know if you can see that. It's not got a barcode on, it's got this Nike ID. But they do look good, the insoles are okay. They do look good, but I can't find this specific one anywhere. I need to do a bit more research. Um, paid a tenner for, um, I don't know, there might be a special edition. If they are, they'll be worth loads. If they're fake, they'll be um, going in the car boot pile. We'll see. If they aren't, 35, maybe 50 if they are a rarer one. I don't know. Do you reckon, guys, if anyone is an expert on Air Force Ones, let me know what you think of those bad boys. They look alright to be fair. But these are definitely real and these are awesome. These are Adidas, obviously. Uh, ZX420s, but they're a special Kathmandu edition. I think they've got the thing in the inside tag there. Now, didn't know that when I bought them. Paid £10 thinking, wow, well, they're easily worth 25 Worth a little bit more than that. Um, it's difficult to price. There isn't any solds on eBay of the Kathmandu's. There are obviously of ZX420's. There's a pair listed for 100 plus postage used. I don't know. I'll probably list them the same, 100. Offer them out at around 80. But uh, 10 quid into 80 quid. Yes, please. Um... Harry Potter complete uh, DVD set, £3.45, simple sale at 15 to 20 And a couple of ceramics, which I don't normally pick up. Um, that is a Thomas and Friends. I don't know if that'll focus. It wants to focus on me, doesn't it? Thomas and Friends egg cup. Come on, camera. Cost a lot of money, you should focus. Thomas and Friends Good Morning Ed Cup with James, the red engine. That was 20 pence. Sells for about 8 to 10. And then also this Staffordshire 1984 Postman Pat Money Box. It's missing the bung at the bottom, but I don't think that'll be a problem. Um, but I did spot when I got it home. Focus. Crack. Here somewhere. There. I don't know. Still might be okay. It's £1.50. Not going to worry. It looks really cool actually. It's really nice. Um, there's none on eBay again. Uh, put down a tenner. We'll see. 
couple of games now and I want more kind of ceramic this is a speed freaks model it's like a resin um, molded car this one is a Lancia Delta Integrale a wickedly cool car as you can see speed freaks um, I've bought a lot of these in the past they're worth very good money this one not so much you really you need the box to get the the, the, the huge value out of them pay 4.99 uh probably list it for 29.95 take around 25 on it but it is cool they, these speed freaks are very very cool models couple of games um god knows why i bought this this is lego frog rush uh, i think i was getting carried away two pound fifty somewhere around eight if it's all there yes bread and butter game of life 1984 edition um haven't checked it yet but uh boxy service that's a good sign three pound fifty easy 15 all day long simple to send super to pack simple sale sold one i think it was last week so i just sell similar on that change the photos job done uh, last one, I think. No, there is one. This grandstand walkie talkie set. I paid a tenner for this because it's really old. But it's never it's not been opened. It's it's never been used. Now on eBay there's Thunderbirds branded grandstand walkie talkies. Um, but this, this, this obviously is, isn't a Thunderbirds one, it's just a normal um, non-branded grandstand owned one. Don't know, I paid a tenner, I'm sure I had these when I was a kid, I'm sure I did. Uh, what do we reckon? 30? 40? They're, 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 they're brand new. Is there a date on them? No. No date. 1988 brand new in box we'll say my auction that just to uh, maximize where we are now the last thing that i bought there was a few of them um i saw underneath a load of junk in this charity shop a load and i mean a load there's still a few down there old tennis rackets not all tennis rackets, some of them are squash rackets. Um, and they were all a pound each. And I thought, I'm not, I'm, I can't leave these for a pound. I, I did, at one point, I sold quite a few old um, tennis rackets. And I was doing all right on them, good turnaround. And then I just job, lot, job lotted the lot that I had, got rid of them. And I haven't picked up any since. Um, but there is money to be made. If you can pick them up at a pound each, there's a decent return. Um, this one here, for instance, is a Dunlop Alpha um, squash racket. Got the original head cover. Um, that should be around £15, no problem. What else is there? No idea what that is. A Spalding Top Flight Championship model. Now, I'll take off this press. This is to keep the... Because they're wood, if they got slightly damp, obviously, back in the day, they would warp and bend. So these presses were used to keep the um, racket straight and true. Um, this one has got issues with the strings. But even so, the Spalding, if it didn't have the problem with the springs, it's, it's strings, beg your pardon, it might be a 20 pound racket, as it is somewhere around a tenner. But the press should get me some money back as well, probably eight to 10, maybe more. I know it's not huge, it's not a massive return, but it's easy to do. And, and parceling up these is simple. Wrap them all up in bubble wrap, shrink wrap them, off they go. Slazenger Firepower, the last one without the head cover, which this one has got, sold for £14.95 plus postage. And this one's a beauty. Dunlop Power Master. There isn't any of those on, it, on eBay, but I'm sure I've sold one of these in the past for 25 So from a pound and how many was there one two three four five six seven eight so it's eight pound if you get a tenner each that's 80 it's 
So even after fees, even if, we, even if you call it 50 quid profit, it's 50 quid profit. So there we go. Without them, um, I added it all up. So I'll just add that on to so We say 50 for them. Spent £121 and 2p. Quite know how I spent the 2p. But there we go. Return somewhere in the region of 500 to 600 pounds. Take away fees, blah blah blah, say 400, and take off what we spent 300 to 120, so 280 pound profit. That was for half an hour of walking around some charity shops, but it doesn't happen like that every day, as I say. Sometimes you'll find absolutely nothing, sometimes you might find one thing. If I'd just picked up that, I'd have been reasonably happy, at least I found something. But nice variety, it's new stuff into the store, it gets people looking at your items. Um, yeah, so there we go. So I'm going to sort all this out. I won't be listing it just yet because I'm on holiday next week. Um, so I might do the photos, draft it all up um, and have a look. I've currently got so much to do, it's quite insane. But there we go. Nice to be back. Um, I hope you know, for you guys too. Um, I'll be doing more videos hopefully coming um, over the next few weeks. I need to do another update on the garage um, situation. And I think I might do a bit more in-depth stuff on the clothing um, just to show the stuff um, that we're picking up and the sort of returns you can actually make from vintage clothing is insane. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of it that uh, isn't worth huge amounts, but some of it, and I'll show you some examples um when i do the video so thanks for watching guys if you haven't already please subscribe like the video etc etc i'll see you all very soon take it easy see you later